I'm gonna get started off with some primer. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. You can either shave this off, which is what I've done a couple times, you can see by the pan, but um, I found the best way to apply it is just pick it up with your brush like this and lightly apply this wherever you have more pores showing just because this gives you a little bit more of a silky base so that instead of the makeup seeping into your pores, it will just glide on and look a little bit more airbrushed and less like it's you know sinking in and you can bounce back and forth between the brush and your fingers. Fingers always help just warm up the product and give it a little bit more movement. And this primer also really helps to control the oils on your skin so if you are a little bit more oily, you'll like how this prevents your makeup from getting too greasy throughout the day. And then I'm gonna be taking the Physicians Formula Spotlight Primer. I'm just going to pump this on the back of my hand. I'm gonna pick it up on the brush again. I'm using a Bobbi Brown Eye Contour Brush, but I actually really like using this for face stuff. It just works really well. And I'm gonna apply the Spotlight Primer to all the high points on my face where I want it to peek out from behind the foundation. So just really concentrating on like the tops of the cheekbones and a little bit in the center of the cheeks too because I do like a little bit more of that like juicy, youthful, bouncy looking cheek. And then for foundation, there's two products that I'm really loving and I like mixing them together because they pair really well together. I'll share with you why. So it's the Burt's Bees Goddess Glow Foundation. In this, I wear the shade Warm Honey and then the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Serum uh, silk foundation. This one is in the shade medium. Now the goddess glow is quite creamy and doesn't have that much coverage so I like mixing in this because it's a lot more fluid so it just makes this one blend a little bit easier and this one is slightly darker with more coverage so they just pair really well together and I've just really been liking mixing the two and I just mix them together with a foundation, well this is actually isn't a foundation brush, this is a Smashbox Blurring Concealer Brush. I don't like to go in with too much right away. You just work on, you know, building up the coverage and the brush helps make sure that I can get the product all over my skin. And then I'll take a sponge, this one's from e.l.f. and I'll use this to just push that foundation in and really blend it out. Another thing I did want to mention to you guys, if I didn't use that um, e.l.f. primer, this wouldn't be quite as satin looking. It does look a lot more dewy without using that e.l.f. primer, but I've kind of been liking a little bit more of a matte finish recently. But as you guys can see, that highlight still peeks out. It looks very natural and radiant. All my you know moles and freckles still peek out, which I personally really like. But then wherever I want a little bit more coverage from the foundation, like around the corners of my nose, because I always have some redness there. And then a little bit around the eyes as well. And I do have a little bit of eczema on my chin. Love that. So I'll just cover that a bit more too. I just really like the way they look paired together. I think it's a really natural and actually looks like skin when you wear them together. Um, if you want more coverage, then use more of the Physicians Formula, and if you want less coverage, use more of the Goddess Glow. I like them mixed 50-50 equal parts, but it is customizable, so more coverage, more of this, less coverage, more of this. A concealer that I've really been impressed with is from Rimmel. It's the Lasting Finish Breathable Concealer. This is a lightweight, medium coverage concealer. And medium coverage is the key word here because this never, ever looks cakey. Now it does have, as you guys can see, a little um, applicator. Um, I've tried that, I actually don't like it. What I like to do is just get a little bit of product on the back of my hand, like that, and then apply it with my fingers. And you guys are gonna be really impressed with this coverage. Even though it's medium, it does give you quite a bit of coverage. That's really, I'm emphasizing the word natural here. It's natural looking coverage because the concealer itself is quite fluid and lightweight. So it doesn't feel too creamy or heavy. It doesn't feel like a lot of other concealers do. So if you're somebody who wants something that's a little bit more skin feeling and you won't you know become occupied with the feeling that you have concealer under your eyes 
This is great and because it is long wearing, it makes a really fantastic eyeshadow primer as well. Some dryness right there, so my makeup's not going on as nicely as I would like, but I do wanna give myself a little bit of coverage. Like as you guys can see, there's a little bit of makeup catching on the corners of my nose, which doesn't really bother me, but I guess that's just something to be aware of. If you guys do have a drier skin type like me, this concealer can sometimes catch on those dry patches. It's nothing too bad though, so don't be that afraid. Now I'm gonna take the cream bronzer from Physicians Formula. This one is in the shade Toffee. Now it is quite dark, so I don't like to necessarily always apply this directly to my skin. So what I like to do is pick it up on a brush like this. This is an angled brush from Zoeva. It's a 127. <laughs> Oh my god, the FedEx guy just came and he was probably like, what is this chick doing? So I just load up that brush completely and then honestly, you just apply it as you normally would a powder bronzer. The thing that I really like about this bronzer stick from Physicians Formula is that it's not a sticky cream bronzer. It's actually quite powdery in formulation. So, and I hope you guys can see how easy it is to blend out. And honestly, this cream bronzer is just as good to me as the Nude Six Bondi Bay, which was one of my favorites. It still is one of my favorites ever, but this one is almost even a little bit more matte once it sets down than that one. And honestly, even a little bit more budge proof maybe. <laughs> so I'm gonna knock this in the crease as well, just to add a little bit more definition in those parts of my face. Are you guys dying over this bronzer? It looks so good, cannot recommend this enough. And some of the best skin-like looking blushes that I've tried in a long time, like these are literally the shit, the Physicians Formula Dewy Blushes. I'm gonna be mixing two shades. I'm gonna mix Crushed Berries and Gorgeous Peach. The peach one is just gonna kind of subdue the berry shade, just the teens. Just about a 50-50 of both. I'll just mix them with my fingertip. Now again, I do like to apply these with a brush, so I'm just gonna use that 127, which I used for my bronzer. Load up the brush completely, and then just lightly, in this stippling motion, apply it right to the apple of the cheek. And then blend it back into the bronzer. I think the stippling motion tends to work the best. Because it is a liquid, you don't wanna do any aggressive swiping because then you can kind of ruin the makeup that you have underneath it, so. I'm gonna quickly fill in my eyebrows. I'm using the Revlon Brow Creator in dark brown because my hair is dark now and I was trying to use my lighter brow pencils and they just weren't working. Now that my hair is like practically black, I really have to use dark, dark brown eye pencils, eyebrow pencils. Look how much of a difference that makes. Like, it's crazy. All right, so to set my skin and just keep everything in place, I'm gonna be using the All May um, powder. This is the loose finishing powder. I'm using the shade medium because as you guys can see, it's got a slight tint to it, so it's just not gonna make my skin look ashy or too light. I'm gonna use a little puff and just gently tap it under the eyes, set that concealer. I'm gonna keep that in place and then just ever so slightly in the center of my face and around my chin. I've talked about this highlight with you guys before. I absolutely love it. It's a liquid highlight from Neutrogena in the shade Supernova. I just take a really small amount and I spread it all out sheerly on the back of my hand just like this. And then I pick it up on a brush so I just get a little bit, just the perfect amount of this and then I apply it just to the high points of my skin. Essentially the same way I would apply a powder highlight. This is a Smashbox Cream Cheek Brush, but it's the perfect size to just nestle into the areas of your face where you want to add a little bit more glow. I'm gonna take it right on my Cupid's bow, my chin, right down the center of my nose. I'm also going to apply it under the arch of my brows just to wake up my eyes a bit. 
And I'm also gonna apply it right all over my eyelid just to give my eyes a little bit of a glossy sheen. But because I'm using such little product, it just creates a little bit of a veil of a sheen. It's nothing that's gonna make your skin look too strong. But look, it just looks so good. All these products work so well together. I'm gonna pop on some lip pencil. I'm gonna use NYX Nude Truffle, which is the absolute best lip liner in the world. If you want a lip liner that's just gonna look super natural and look like your own lip line, you can really cheat the size of your lips with this shade. For lip color, I'm gonna use Ginger Snap from Physicians Formula. It's a tinted balm, and I'm obsessed with these. Like, cannot recommend these enough to you guys. I mentioned them in my favorites. And then just for like a little bit of gloss, I'm gonna use this from Revlon. It's in the shade Pretty Kiss, Bizu Bizu. Just in the center of the lips. The sponge applicator, like the tip, to kind of blur out your lip line. Make it look a little bit more natural. I'm gonna use one of my favorite mascaras. It's the Maybelline Lash Stiletto Mascara. This stuff is so good. It just makes my lashes look amazing every time I use it. So I apply it on the top and bottom lashes, but since we're going for kind of that no makeup makeup look, I'm only gonna do one or two coats. Just make sure every lash gets a little bit of mascara. And then I do a little bit on my lower lashes as well. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, this is another little trick, uh, always bring back your moles. So I'm actually gonna be using the Revlon Colorstay Brow Tint, which is like a little felt tip pen, but it's quite sheer in formulation. Like I will swatch it for you guys. It's really soft, so it's great for bringing back your moles because it doesn't look too there <laughs> so i just touch this on all my little moles and freckles and it'll bring everything back and then you can just tap it just blend them in all right guys this is the finished no makeup makeup using drugstore products um, I know sometimes people complain and say that I don't do a lot of really colorful dramatic looks But I feel like whenever I do you know like colorful eyeshadow tutorials and stuff like that Nobody really watches it, but when I do my you know natural skin based um, Wearable looks I get the best feedback from you guys and I notice more people watch the videos and I mean, you guys know I'm just passionate about makeup and products in general, but I also wanna create content for you guys that I feel like you'll actually get something out of. And um, I just really wanted to highlight some of these amazing drugstore products that are on the shelves right now that I think you guys will love as much as I do. And I mean, like, look at this skin. Like, it looks, it, it look, I mean, obviously, like, you can tell it's makeup, but it's definitely like a no makeup makeup type of look. It just looks like really, healthy skincare. I'm seriously just like looking at the glow because it looks amazing. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys found this helpful. I'm going to list and link everything in the description box down below for you guys. If you guys have any questions regarding any of these products or any of these techniques, please feel free to hit me up in the comments down below. I always do my best to get back to you guys. And if you guys have any other type of skin tutorials that you want to see in the near future, please let me know. Um, I started a whole skin focused playlist on my channel where I just want to put all of these types of tutorials where I like really go a little bit more in depth about the products or the techniques so uh yeah i really want to continue on this skin playlist tutorial stuff um, and then just anything else you guys want to see in general fall related let me know um i'll see you guys in my next video i hope you have an amazing day thank you so much for watching this video um yeah i'll see you in my next one bye guys